Welcome to our educational video on a medical case involving Meniere's disease and associated vestibular drop attacks. In this video, we'll explore the journey of a patient to experience sudden unexplained drop attacks in the absence of vertigo and without loss of consciousness. Let's dive into the details. Our patient had a long-standing history of otosclerosis treated surgically on the right. He'd otherwise been in good health for months, with occasional hearing issues like tinnitus and ear fullness on the left. He then reported recurrent, unprovoked episodes where he would suddenly be pushed to the floor in no particular direction. He did not lose consciousness with these. But because of their brevity and in the absence of other symptoms, it was initially difficult to establish the diagnosis. This changed when an attack occurred while he was working behind the counter at a news agent that was captured on CCTV. Here he is seen suddenly falling to the right, trying to keep himself upright by holding onto the counter. Unusually, a second episode occurred in a cash and carry, where there was again CCTV footage. And finally, he suffered a third episode on his way out of a mosque, again captured on CCTV. These episodes all happened without warning and while he was standing, but he did also report similar episodes while seated and lying down that were not captured on camera. Witnesses noted no unusual signs before or after the attacks, and the patient wasn't on any medication, nor suffering from other medical conditions. He eventually saw an ENT specialist who conducted an audiogram, and this showed low-frequency sense neural hearing loss on the left, in addition to the known conductive loss on the right side due to the otosclerosis. CT and MRI scans showed bilateral otosclerosis, but no central pathology, so he's referred to a vestibular neurology clinic. The physical examination at the time was normal, apart from the hearing loss, but on formal testing there was a left vestibular canal paresis on caloric testing with a normal video head impulse test. This is a recognised pattern in Menia's disease. A delayed enhanced MRI scan revealed enlargement of the scala media, the saccule and utricle on the left side, indicating vestibular endolymphatic hydrops, a feature associated with Menia's disease. We therefore diagnosed left-sided Meniere's disease with vestibular drop attacks, also known as Tumarkin attacks or crises. Treatment with intratympanic steroid injections on the left resulted in no further episodes over a two-year follow-up period. Drop attacks can have a range of different causes, including cardiovascular issues, cerebrovascular events, and epilepsy. Meniere's syndrome, which is characterized by recurrent vertigo, fluctuating hearing loss and tinnitus, can include drop attacks in 6 to 7% of patients. The exact cause of these attacks is unclear, but theories implicate abnormal otolithic signals, causing the perception of tilt and subsequent reflexive movements to counteract this perception that leads to falls. Patients may struggle to describe these events accurately, and there may be no witness accounts available to facilitate the diagnosis. But insights can be gained from video recordings or CCTV footage, as in our case. We hope this video provided interesting insights into Menia's disease and drop attacks and we thank you very much for watching.